We miss you guys, and uh, we can't wait to see you there in the Bahamas. We'll find a great anchorage and be waiting for you. I'm Kayla and I'm Anno and this is our sailing home discipleship. We sold everything we own to be able to bring attention to and support missions in need and create memories of a lifetime while on this journey. It was Mark Twain who said 20 years from now you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the things you did do. Join us each week as we learn, laugh, and pray. And you'll never miss out if you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So, Inno, what are we doing today? We're going to go get swabbed. I'm not swabbing the deck. Nope. We're swabbing these right here. Yeah. So Because we got COVID. No, we don't. Oh. No. Because the but, Bahamas requires us to prove we don't have COVID. That's right. So, in other words, we're getting ready to prepare to go to Bahamas. So today, COVID tests, um, finishing up little projects around here, doing some cleaning, doing some, we already did our big provisioning. Well, that'll be in this video somewhere. And um, getting ready. Mm. <laughs> that was an honest one. Mm. So, um, Leave for Rodriguez Key tomorrow, and then Wednesday morning, weather, put your hands together for prayer. Prayer, yeah, prayer, because I'm holding the camera. Pray for good weather for us to cross on Wednesday, and then Bahamas bound, baby. Bahamas. <laughs> anyway, so that's what we're doing today. Um, and emptying garbage. And oh, and emptying garbage. Got to do emptying yeah. garbage stuff since it'll be our probably our last time for a while. Anyway, all right. Love y'all. See you later. Preparing your nose. <laughs> yeah. And this is a self test. We don't have anyone else doing it for us. Self inflicted pain. There you go. That's exactly right. All right, COVID tests are done. What do you think? I probably failed, <laughs> which is good, right? Failing a COVID test is good? No, I think you have to pass. Well, if you pass, it means you got it. Uh, it could go either way. All right, so. We ain't been around anybody in weeks. Exactly. So, whatever. So, thanks to Chris and Jolene for borrowing this mode of transportation. We really appreciate you. Dos cameras. <laughs> and uh, now we are on the way to PostNet to pick up our last thing of mail. Hopefully. Yeah. And that's it. We's done. We's out of here. I think we are. Sorry we did not get the COVID test on camera. Lady was shy. <laughs> we had to do it through the drive through so it was awkward doing all that and I mean, simple. Don't be afraid of a COVID test. Isla Murata was so happy to see us go, they put on a fireworks show for us. Or there was somebody having a very expensive wedding. I don't know, but I'm going to go with they were happy to see us go. Discipleship is officially underway. After 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped now. <laughs> we are exactly 40 days. headed back north to our little jumping off spot. We will um, get there around what time tonight? Uh, 3 or 4 o'clock, something like that. Okay. We'll drop anchor there, settle in, settle our nerves. Get ramped up, and then Bahamas tomorrow, baby. <laughs>
buddy. miles offshore. We have 42 more miles to go. We're probably going to get in around dark, right after dark, and we'll check in tomorrow morning um, because I'm assuming the customs office and stuff will be closed when we get there. So it's a little rough. It's doable. Um, if it wasn't for the COVID test with the three-day window, I'd have waited another day, possibly go out in the evening, yeah. but it's what it is. Gotta do what we gotta do. But the water is really... It's so pretty out here. And we've seen uh, a couple of things of flying fish just skimming right across the water. A little cool. Um, I have my relief bands on. Don't know if I need them or not, but I'm not even gonna take that chance. And if uh, I need relief, I'll just grab that band. Yeah, there you go. Uh, got knocked around a couple times going down below to use the bathroom, but... Yeah, I'm not using the bathroom off the side of the boat. <laughs> fear that Kayla would have to turn around and get me. Not in this. This is crazy. Yeah. We brought the fishing pole out, but... We ain't put it up. No. If I got a fish right now, it would not be a fun time trying to clean that sucker. So, yeah. brought it up. It's ready to go. If we calm down, I think it's supposed to calm down this afternoon sometime. All right. So, keep sending prayers. We need them. There you go. Or, of course, by the time you got this, we're already be done. Yeah. <laughs> but keep sending prayers. We still need them. So, all right. See ya.
For those of you that were watching our videos and going, man, for a sailboat, they're doing a lot of motoring. You're right. There's a saying in sailing that you can pick the time, you can pick the place, or you can pick the comfort level. Just one of the three. Let me try to explain to you what happened here. Because of COVID restrictions, Bahamas say you have three days from the day you took your test to arrive in the Bahamas. We took our test on one day. The next day we left to our staging area, and the next day we had to cross. We had no choice. For those that don't know, you can't sail directly into the wind. That's called in irons. Think about it. You can't sail directly into the wind. What we newbies forgot to take into effect was this little thing called the Gulf Stream. It's a heck of a current, and uh, if we'd have pointed ourselves straight at Bimini, we'd have ended up in Bermuda, a thousand miles away. Instead, we had to point ourselves southeast to go northeast. And when we went southeast, the wind was straight on our nose versus on our side like we thought it was going to be. By the way, this is the only casualty of the trip. I tripped and hit our table. Before you arrive in a foreign country on a boat, you must fly a yellow quarantine flag letting everybody know that you haven't checked in and they should avoid you. And you're not allowed on shore except going to check in. This is not a COVID restriction. This has been going on for years. We're taking down the quarantine flag because we've checked in and we're flying the Bahamian flag now that we're on the Bahamian soil. As always, thanks for watching. Tune in next week while we explore Bimini with Radio Beach Sunsets and the Dolphin House Museum. But now stay tuned for a word from our captain. So a couple weeks back, Chris uh, Knapp was on our boat. And uh, as he was leaving, it was on a Saturday. I said, hey, on Sunday, are, are we still invited to come to church with you all again? Because um, we enjoy Jer's church. And he said, uh, absolutely. He said, I don't know anybody who needs Jesus as much as you. And he kind of meant that funny, and it kind of was, but he also, I think, meant that truly. And he's right. I don't know anybody who needs Jesus as much as me. I don't know, I don't know anybody who needs Jesus as much as Kayla. I don't know anybody who needs Jesus as much as you. Everybody needs Jesus. So he wasn't wrong, and he was right at the same time. No, he wasn't wrong, and he was right, but everybody needs Jesus as much as me. And I thought that was a very profound moment when he said that, because I was like, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know anybody who needs Jesus as much as me, except for you, and you, and, and you, and, and, and you down there, and, and you over there, and, and all of you, we all need Jesus. And I thought that was a pretty profound, profound moment. So I just wanted to add that to our little commentary here.